All right, let's talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League as we look forward to the new season. There's a second wave of um, COVID-19. Now, do you think um, the league will go on as planned? Because, yes, we're talking about checking the facilities, equipment, mm -hmm. and all that. And there's a second wave of coronavirus. Uh, we, we know there might be an, another lockdown yeah. uh, by the Lagos State government, but do you think the NPF or the league will go on? When I, I think for the sake of our participation on the continent, mm. uh, we need the league to get back um, into action. As some people will tell you, the clubs that are involved are already doing their precision and all of the, um, the whatnot. But um, precision is nothing like um, competitive preparations, and you can only get that when you are playing in your league or in your cup competition. Yeah. So uh, for the NPFL, we have to get on. Uh, we've seen it. Uh, we've seen a model that we can um, really follow from across the world. Uh, the lockdown is not affecting elite sports in England. Uh, I think once you just go through all of the safety protocols, uh, you are good to go. Um, first of all, we'll not be playing in um, stadiums that are allowing fans. So that's one step to go through and um, ensure that the players, uh, we might not be able to afford a bubble like we saw um, across um, all those other climbs, but mm. we can do something similar to that. Um, have a restricted and um, a well-regimented movement for, for this team. So um, maybe they go away from their families, um, have um, uh, an hotel or something that can be an enclosed um, uh, camping for them. So they move straight from those into their team bus, mm. then into uh, the venue of the match. But um, I think we need to get the league up and running. We are behind time already, and we cannot, we cannot afford to lose more time. Uh, like I said earlier, it has to be because majorly because of our teams that are participating on the, the continent. continent. So we've not had very good results in recent times. Or in, in years before, mm -hmm. I think after Aimba and uh, Aimba did the double, we've been far away from getting close to winning the trophy. So yeah. we need to right all of those wrongs. We need to rewrite that history. So we need to get our league back on track. Yeah, if getting your league back on track, with or without the league, mm. we still perform poorly on the continent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that's what it is. Because even if we have the league up and running, we, we see teams that still go on the continent and they still don't do well. And we keep asking ourselves the same questions year in, year out. Where exactly does the problem lie? How do we correct these wrongs? It's simple. I, I think a better structure of the league would help um, the teams perform well on the continent. Now, even if the league kick starts any time soon, it feels like some of the teams are not even prepared for the new season. Sunshine Stars, for example, uh, the, the, the coach came out to say that the team has not even done anything yeah. in preparation for the new season. So... Where do we stand? You can't blame some of this team. There's been so much uncertainty uh, concerning the season for the club. Um, we didn't even know when. Uh, there was a point we didn't know when sports was um, the ban on sports was going to be lifted. Yeah. And even when it was done, it was done in phases. Um, Non-contact sports um, actually had their own goal first. And it took a while before contact sports were allowed. Mm. I remember that football was allowed at the point. Then it was um, thrown back into uh, under the ban umbrella yeah. before it was um, the ban was e eventually lifted. So all of these uncertainties um, ensured that some of these clubs uh, couldn't um, get their preparations right on track. So that's why we are seeing a bit of a staggered preparation mm. for different, different clubs. You will always bring the argument of uh, when the league is running um, that um, Nigerian clubs don't do well. But we still have yeah. um, teams getting to the quarterfinals and the semifinals. I think Gamba has gotten to the uh, semifinals in about twice in the last five years. Mm. Uh, so imagine them not even having any form of preparation at all. Yeah. It would be very disastrous having all our teams crash out um, in, in, in the qualifiers or in the group stages. Uh, I don't think that's good enough. So we just have to work with what we have right now. Um, the issue of restructuring is a long-term project. Yeah. It will not be done overnight. It will be done in phases and different steps. So uh, the first step is ensure that regularly we are having our league running. Uh, if the league is running, then that's when you can do the restructuring. If the league is in coma, uh, it's not going on at all. You can't yeah. have any restructuring going on. So First of all, let's get our league running. Um, a car can only get to a very fast speed if it gets into that first gear. If it doesn't get into that first gear, forget about breaking any uh, speed record. So that's what I feel about the league. We'll do the restructuring as time goes on. But first of all, let's have consistent um, movement, consistent mm. progress of the league. And that starts with um, getting the league back running. Mm. All right, yeah, because there's a whole lot to talk about when it comes to the Nigeria Professional Football League um, from budgeting, uh, looking at the teams, I know some of them, some of these club sides owe their players' salaries. And you get to ask yourself, how would these guys manage the situation if there's ever going to be something like a bubble? 
where would they get money from to keep these players in one place? Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Most of these clubs are owned by the government. Yeah. So one way or the other, I, they'll find I, a way. I think I, I feel the private teams might struggle. Hmm. Uh, we don't have um, um, a large number of. I think we have just about four of them uh, in the Nigerian Professional Football League. But when we talk about the government clubs, they should be able uh, to to break even somehow or have a way to. But um, you now look at the those at the end of affairs, yeah. and I think that's where we are. We are really getting it wrong. We don't have the right people leading these clubs. It's become more like a political tool uh, where people just put um, people to head these clubs because uh, of a form of compensation can, yeah. and the rest of them. But if we have the right people in the right positions, I, I think the government clubs in this kind of situation wouldn't have had much problems like mm. the private clubs. <laughs>